Okay, I tried filming this before with everything all up here and had to slowly just take things away and it just wasn't cool, whatever. Didn't have all my stuff yet. So, um, what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you the figures for this. Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Round 1. Which, Godzilla, Rodan, Mothra, and Engris. And I'm also going to show you figures from round two, which consists of Gorosaurus, King Ghidra, M Minya, I know this is Manila, but I'd rather call him Minya, and Baragon. Now, just a random select, pick a character, and put them up there. Okay, let's tilt this down just a little bit. Okay, there we go. So there's the Angerous Monster. And he has two options. Now he, this is the second option. He really, you get him out of the package with the open mouth. So, open mouth, closed mouth. I just don't know why they just build a little thing, just pop his mouth up and down like a hinge, you know, a joint or something. But they want to give you two separate heads. Now, we have, make it all the pieces. Okay. Get it on. Now, uh, okay. He comes in standing form. But if you prefer him to be in crawling form, pop off the head, put on the other head, take off the legs. Just, there you go. You can get him in the crawling mode instead. Okay, that's two down and six to go or something like that. Okay, now we got Minya. I'm going to get all the Minya pieces together. Okay. I'm going to take off this. Okay, Minya's the only one where he has a pegged head and a hole in the body, whereas the other characters have the peg on the body and the hole in the head. Like me, I got a hole in my head, you know? Okay. Now, okay, let's see. Uh-huh. I don't see the difference of what arm you use. There's two sets of arms. I guess there's the arms of when he's blowing the smoke. So let's just let's just do what they suggest. Okay, I already have the arms for when he's blowing smoke. So you put that on there, you drop that in there, and you show you two different heads. So you can't put the smoke thing in there because there's no hole in the mouth. So that's the like he's puffing the smoke. Mm-hmm. There's there's really barely any difference with the arms. I mean there's slight finger position change. So I suppose that the other hands When he shoots the smoke. Right over there. Okay. I know I'm moving slow, but 
you could always watch this at 125 or 1.5 speed and all that. Okay. Okay. Well, Mothra. Okay. He's in larval stage, larval form. And at first, I think I saw somebody make a mistake and put this thing in the Godzilla mouth or something. I can't remember. I won't mention his name because I don't want to embarrass him because he's a pretty cool YouTuber. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's standing up. Sometimes the weight of the webbing, it almost looks, you can see that, like he's sucking on an iceberg or something. But anyway, that's supposed to be the web that's shooting out of his mouth. Okay, we're getting closer. Okay, we got one, two, three, four. I guess we've got four more monsters to go. So we'll do Gorosaurus next. Trying to hide myself. This thing shoots everything wider than everything before. But anyway. And a little dedication to the Monster Island buddies. Look what happened. Can't do it. I can't get it right. Look what happened. Anyway, never mind. Enjoy it for what it was. Okay. I don't want to, let's, okay, let's do Godzilla, right? I know I said, well, you saved Godzilla for last. Yeah, maybe you're right, but I got lots to talk about by other things. No, we don't. We'll save Godzilla for closer to last. Here we go. We got Ghidra. That's right. Ghidra, not Ghidorah. All right? That's, that, it comes from a translation mistake, okay? When they did the new, Hesse series movies and they want to do God it was supposed to be Godzilla versus King Kong but they couldn't get the right so they changed it to King Ghidra and because they see the printed phonetic word they said it phonetically instead of just pronounced the Japanese don't slow down when they talk they speak very quickly and if it if it, if they do say Ghidorah they say it so fast it sounds like Ghidorah, like Ghidorah. and they say it's Ghidorah that's how they say it it's not Ghidorah right but here he is I'm telling you, if I had these things, I got into, eight years old was such a big, crucial time of my life, and it's, I've been eight years old ever since. I'm 60 years old, and I'm still eight years old. I discovered everything at eight years old. Shooting. Toho Monsters, Abbott Costello, Frankenstein, Universal Monsters, Gamera, whatever. All that came in, all into my existence at that age, and I just held on and latched onto that forever, you know? It's like, they should always have, they should always have, I, mm, I was, okay, okay, ready, okay. This is my favorite form of the Ghidra look. I didn't like the way he looked in uh, those Mothra movies. I didn't like the way, he, I must make it a different one, but uh, the way he looked in GMK, you know, you know, this is the classic look, and it's his best look. And in the original King, uh, excuse me, Ghidra, three, the three-headed monster, inside the suit was the same guy who was in the King Kong suit uh, in 1962, King Kong vs. Godzilla. Siroshi, I don't know, I'm, I can't pronounce his name, I just can't remember exactly, Sorochi Hirose or something like that. And... Um, uh, let me see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. God, I'm really bad. Tonight. I'm not stopping. Okay. Um, I've always thought of a trilogy in the Godzilla series to be Ghidra the Three-Headed Monster, followed by Invasion of the Astro Monster, or better known in uh, from our younger years, people my age, we movie just simply called Monster Zero. They changed it to Godzilla Monsters versus Monster Zero. But I just love the title, Monster Zero. It's like, ooh. And it's, and I waited for that movie to come on TV, like a chiller theater, Saturday night. Oh, that's, that was so cool. And then, of course, following after that, you know, when not immediately after they did other films, Destroy All Monsters. So, Gator the Three-Headed Monster, Monster Zero, and Destroy All Monsters would make a great trilogy. Now, this comes with... These gold lightning bolt things, which I'm going to put in his mouth. You know, 
I, I, I had to recheck the movie because I thought they were blue. The uh, lightning bolts I'm putting in is no. And I looked at oh, it is gold. It's like a goldish yellow. Yeah, you've got to kind of put it in the mouth and I'm doing this right. No, I'm doing it wrong. All right, it's going to be an extra long video, longer than I thought, just because I'm so unorganized. There you go. And there's like the lightning coming out of his mouth. Get the monsters. All right, now we're getting closer. Okay, let me get all the Godzilla pieces. Okay. Now, I say now a lot. Have a beer drinking game. Every time I say now, you drink some beer. Okay, here's Godzilla. He comes with two options. Mouth partially open and teeth exposed. Or mouth wide open and teeth really exposed. Now, this is the one that gets the Atomic breath. Now, so if I take Godzilla's head off and put this on, but it's not enough. Take, is it? Which hands do I have on? Uh, I guess it's supposed to, I guess it, I don't think it really matters that much how the hands are. But I guess they want to give you the authentic style of how the body positions itself. Okay. And now he's blowing his atomic breath. It looks better when you go off camera just a little bit. See that? Otherwise, there's a stopping point. All right. Okay. Look what happens. Right, now we're coming to the final character. I gotta make sure I got all the parts complete. Okay. It's Rodan. Oh. Okay. Now, I got a lot of problems with this Rodan guy. I think it looks good this way, okay? And if you got something to stabilize him, he's okay, but he really needs a peg to stand on if you want him standing up. He's the only one of all the other characters that actually needs a stand, needs a stand. otherwise he just falls over. But they didn't position, oh, get this out. They didn't position him in the correct angle that he wouldn't need to have a stand. Okay? Now, here we go. So there he is, in his standing position on a stand. And his wings go this way. And I'm really upset they didn't consider how to way, figure out a way to make the wings go, you know, this way. Because, like, that's, that's his motion when he's doing his wings and creating all that wind. It isn't like this, and this should have been all been attached. You know, this separation is kind of like a bummer. So now we're going to switch him to flying mode. That thing that you take off the head, you just swap the head. So he's like that. And, ah, here it is. You just, okay, you just kind of, let's see, I had it right before. Okay, there you go. Have it right before? Okay. Yeah, I did have it right before because I'm getting it wrong now. There we go. And that's Rodan in flying mode. Which, it's cool they have flying mode, but of all the parts that were to change, they should have given you wings that pop off. Because when he's in flying mode, his wings point outward they narrow out and they come to a point 
and I don't know why it's this color on the wings. It should have been the this color here should have been the color of the wings. I might redo this, but um, I wouldn't know exactly how I would get the wings to have that more, you know, outward pointed look that it's supposed to be when he's in flight. But uh, let's see. I think I covered everything. I said everything. I showed everything. Okay. Sorry this video was a little bit longer than I wanted it to be. So this mm, might have been like three minutes shorter or something. All right. All right. So goodbye.